First sign, I'm going to help you with this so you, if you don't know it, but if you know it, put it down first. Put Aries down. If you don't know it, here it is. Aries. Okay. I want you to learn these symbols. Remember I told you the best way to learn them is when you're reading your book? Every time you see the word Aries, make the symbol above it? Huh? It helps, doesn't it? Yeah. The mind is lazy. And if you have to keep going looking it up, you're just going to say, heck with it. I might as well learn it. So Taurus, who knows what Taurus is? Everybody does, right? Huh? Circle with that, right. It's right here. Okay? And Gemini. Everybody knows what Gemini looks like, right? Okay? Gemini the twins. Okay? Just think of the twins, two, two there. And then a Cancer. Cancer is easy. Crab, Crab right. So it looks like this, Cancer. The, re the easy way to remember this is it, cancer rules your breast. Huh? Does that look like maybe possibly could be that? Okay. And, and the next sign is Leo. Anybody have trouble, trouble with that one? Leo? Look at Leo. Watch Leo. Leo looks like this. And guess what Leo rules? Your children. And guess what that looks like? Oh, you got it, a sperm. Huh? Isn't it amazing, these symbols? I, who made these things up, huh? Okay. And Virgo is the next one. Virgo's pretty easy. Virgo relates to the Virgin. And what was her name? Oh, let's make a little M here. Uh huh. Mary. Libra. That's really easy. It's the scales. What's Libra look like? Here it is right here. There's Libra. Honey, she's been limping, I noticed today. Okay, I'm sorry. Libra, the scales. You can see a scale here. You could put something on here and let it go. Okay, does that make sense, Libra? And then Scorpio, my gosh. What is that about? Yeah, I like this thing here. Good. Well, what's the M for? Well, we can make up something. Um, I'm not sure how to take that one all the way around. Yeah. Who said mafia? I like that. I like that. Because it rules the underworld. You know that, don't you? Scorpio and Pluto rules things like that, you know? So, yeah. Good association techniques. That's how you memorize things sometimes. It helps, right? And then Sagittarius, my sign is what? The arrow. And you know, the archer of Sagittarius is doing what? If you see the symbol, he's shooting towards the stars. He's half man and half horse. Half beast and half man shooting towards the stars, okay? He's got both qualities. And then Capricorn is simple, okay? And Capricorn, by the way, rules two things, okay? Okay. Capricorn rules. Saturn, but it's also interesting because it's like a versus, opposition, I verse uh, against you, verse against you. Is that right, verse, verse of, that makes sense? Versus, is that word, is, is that a word, versus? Yeah, versus. Like he's against, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so that's kind of what Capricorn does, it's uh, opposes, opposes, okay? That's why I was always amused by Nixon's name, President Nixon, to nix something. I'm, I'm sure, I've never looked that word up. It must mean something, N-I-X. I'm sure it means something to, to eliminate, it. eliminate it. Good, yeah. Okay, and then the next sign is Aquarius. And it's a ruler of what? Water. Actually, it's not a water sign. Yeah, and, huh? it's an air sign. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a, think of it more as electricity. Think of it as electrical. Okay. It's a, like a sine wave almost. Uh, if you look at a current of the way out, alternate, al <laughs> alternate current, alternate is like this. You know, where DC is like that, straight on. And we use in this country 
AC, alternative current. Okay, so the last one is Pisces. And what do we have here? Two fish kind of hooked up together in a way. Visualize that, okay? Now, these are the most simple things you need to learn because you need to speak the language. And to speak the language, you have to learn the hieroglyphs. You have to learn a little bit of shorthand that people have made for thousands of years. I want you to work on this. And as I said to you, the best way is simply, I, I can guarantee you, if you'll, do, if you'll do what I ask you, and that's when you're reading a book, I don't care whose son book it is, anybody's astrology book, it doesn't matter. Whenever you come across the word of a sign or a planet or an aspect, take a pen and write above it. And you'll learn them so quick, your head will spin. You'll have it done within a chapter or two. Can you just go Virgo one more time? So I can see sure. It? Okay. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They'll put an S on the on the um, for Virgo. No, that's Scorpio. Well, no, they put a, a tail on the Scorpio with a, an arrow. An arrow. Yeah. But on the on the Virgo, they make like a an M and then a line. On here, it looks like a fish. 